Heather's Family Blogs. 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 Hey guys, listen, I'm going to show you something that my mom used to make for me and my sister and my dad when I was young. Um, I call it salmon and peas and gravy. It, it, you make a gravy, then you put um, pink salmon and sweet peas inside of it when you make your gravy. It's pretty good. Voila, with salt and pepper. So, I already made some white rice. The white rice is right here. Um, so let's get going. In order to do the gravy, you gotta make sure you got some butter and some flour and some water. So, let's go. You gotta add some butter to the pan and melt it. I actually down. forgot how to do this. You forgot to do what? I'm oh, sorry, no cameraman today. <laughs> My kitchen is small. Then what you want to do is add some flour. Make like a roux, you know? So you you want to get this melted. Hold on, let me change the a whisk. It'll be a lot better. See, and you want to just get like not clumps, but clumps, you know. Because this is how you're gonna get your your roux, your gravy. I might need to add some more um, flour. I don't know. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, there we go. And then we add some water. Where's the cup? You want to start adding in a little bit of water at a time. It's like a gravy. No, it is a gravy. And that's why you need a whisk to do this. It's a little messy job, you know. But you want to get a nice roux. Stay tuned. See, you want to get it, it into a gravy. I'm going to add some more water in a second into this. Do you need more flour now? No more. No, no. I just need some more water right here. Because you want a nice thick gravy. No lumps. It might take a few minutes to get your your gravy looking good. But if, if you got to do it and try it a couple times... Believe me, you know how many times I had lumps in my gravy before I learned how to really, like, get it down packed? Butter. Hi, butter. How you doing, butter? Okay. So now I'm going to lower the flames. And you see how nice and thick it is. I don't know if you can see it from my end, but... I can't put it over because I don't want to drop it in there. It's very hot. <laughs> okay. Now what you do is you want to add in your peas. peas. Simple food. Well, what is the poor man's food, but it's good food. Yeah, my mom used to make this for me and my sister when we were kids. How, how funny, right? Poor man's food. You know what I mean. It's. I mean, we didn't have all that kind of money growing up in the projects. Yeah, but that's you know? what they call And then it. the whole can of salmon. That's like that's like um the Puerto Rican when they eat rice and eggs. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
and then you incorporate everything into it and kind of like voila almost and let me tell you you can eat this with biscuits or you can eat or it with, with white rice right here that i made Ooh, or, or potatoes whatever you would like and then you have to make sure you add your pepper and your salt your pepper of course And I like to use sea salt. Yeah, because it doesn't come out too salty either. Nope, they sure don't. And this is done in not even five minutes. Yep. If you really know how to do gravy, it's, yeah, it'll See come out. All that thickened. Within so like good. All right. And this is how you put, I mean, make something easy, something simple. If you want to make something for your family, this is a really good meal. It's actually pretty done, but... It's done. You just got to wait for it to boil. Mm -hmm. And then it's all done. Mm -hmm. But if you guys like my video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Tell your family and your friends about Heather's Family Vlogs. And remember to like, subscribe, share. Follow me on everything. Remember, hit that notification bell when you want to be notified when I put my brand new videos. Also, guys, I got new merch coming, like new merch. So, I'm going to have a whole new site. It's going to be up on eBay and everything. And the t-shirts and merch will be a lot cheaper than it is on spring. But, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I love you. God bless. Peace.